Blue Mew 42 here, and today I'm going to try to teach you guys how to draw my mascot, Blue. Uh, it's gonna be simple, but uh, I'm gonna talk about lots of stuff while we're doing this. Uh, hopefully, something cool will pop up, and uh, I can tell you guys about maybe inspirations for my channel, stuff like that. I don't know. Just some. Some good memes right there. Maybe. I don't know. One day I want to be a meme. This dream can come true one day. One day. Alright, so. First you gotta do, like, head shape, obviously. Uh, ears. Because Mew has ears. Uh, no, that one's too strange. Okay. You might not be getting the best uh, view of it, but, uh, meh. So, my inspirations for uh, making a YouTube channel were, I wanted to be an, well, it's kind of weird, but I want to be an inspiration for someone, for someone to have an inspiration just like I did. Maybe to make their own YouTube channel to do something else. Just not bad things. Don't do bad things, guys. That's not good. It's in the name. Bad things. Bad means not good. Just in case, like, little kids are watching this. Uh. Well. So. Some of my inspirations were, uh. Whew, some, like. Unlisted Leaf, he's cool, and Laughing Pikachu. Uh, they were some of my first inspirations for making a YouTube channel. Uh, seeing them open Pokemon card packs and get all that cool, all those cool pulls. Yeah, even they actually even got me into Pokemon. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, um, other than thanks for being here. Uh, I know this is probably going to be a boring video if you don't like drawing, but, uh, I'll manage, uh, to try to make it more interesting for you guys. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, when I first watched their videos, um, I really liked seeing them open packs, get cool cards. That's why I made that video yesterday of me uh, opening a Magierna EX tin. Uh, so, hmm. I, I don't know if I've, I'm the best inspiration though. Like, the best some for someone to follow. Uh, there are people like Martin Luther King Jr., or, I don't know, Abraham Lincoln. Then there's me. I, I'm, oh wait. Oh my gosh, it looks all squashed. It's not that squashed in my point of view. But, uh, so, uh, some other of my inspirations were A Drive, uh, SMK, B Button Bits, Rosa Ken. They're shiny hunters, and, uh, if you don't know from my name, Blue Mew, uh, Mew is usually pink. It's shiny form, just in case you don't know what a shiny Pokemon is, is a Pokemon with a different color palette than its original form. Like Mew, for example. Blue Mew is shiny, and pink Mew is regular. Uh... So, uh, yeah, don't know what else to say here, but, oh yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm a shiny hunter, just like them, um, the first one of those two I watched, uh, what, of those, uh, few, were, uh, was A-Drive, uh, I forgot what the first video I watched of him was, but, uh, 
I liked seeing how you could find really rare Pokemon and how they were like cool, rare, different colored Pokemon. And before Pokemon, I was really into Skylanders and uh, variants, like different color Skylanders. Just my thing. I would always go to like toy stores and I would bring like 20, 30 bucks with me find uh, cool Skylanders and I'd buy them and then i test them out in the game and everything it was awesome uh, in fact I still have a bunch of Skylanders over and actually like right over here I got all them Skylanders yeah so I used to love Skylanders uh, not that much into them anymore sadly uh, and I got all these Skylanders and nothing to do with them but when I found out you could do some stuff like that in Pokemon, I'm like, ooh, that's cool. And I had a Pokemon game lying around somewhere. Uh, it was my Pokemon White 2. I tried shiny hunting a few times, but never really worked out. Uh, I ended up getting the shiny Dratini from White Tree Hollow. Uh, that was my first shiny. Um... Yeah, so, eventually later on I kind of gave up on shiny hunting. I was never uh, good at shiny hunting back then. I used to consider myself a shiny hunting failure. That was until I got Pokemon X, I mean not X, Y, yeah, um, and I, uh, was going to restart it, see what I could find, you know, see what cool stuff there was, and then restart it, already knowing where everything was, so it wouldn't take me that long, I would do like a speedrun sort of thing, when suddenly, out of the blue, kind of funny because, you know, blue, blue me 42, ah, not good at puns. Don't worry, I'll be better soon. Uh, but uh, out of the blue, a horde of swab, uh, not swab blue, uh, gulpin appeared. And in the midst of that horde was a blue one. I freaked out and everything, and well, I don't like the feet. I'm just gonna erase the feet. So I freaked out, and I caught it. I uh, wasn't good at nicknames back then, so I named it Eater, because Sculpin eats a lot. Yeah, don't worry, I've gotten better. Uh, but uh, eventually, after that, if I realized how great it felt to find a shiny Pokemon. So, I decided to shiny hunt. And on my first day of shiny hunting, I found um, three shinies on my Alpha Sapphire version that I got later on. Uh, I got a shiny Zigzagoon, a Carvana, and a Puchiana. Yeah. So that was awesome. Uh, I... Became actually a pretty good shiny hunter. I found <sighs> lots of shinies actually. I f Over the summer, uh, I made a quest for myself to try to find uh, a shiny Pokemon for every day in the summer, and uh, there were <sighs> 79 days in the summer. Pretty crazy. And I didn't think I could do it. But I ended up with a total of about, uh, you know, not that much, you know, only 84. Yeah, 84 shinies when I didn't think I could find many. And in the, including, uh, well, the total of shinies included Pokemon like uh, Reshiram, many, many Magikarps because I was trying to get a Adamant Gyarados. Uh... I think, yeah, Staryu, 
a bunch of tangalas on my hunt for Ivysaur. Yeah, that, that was the worst hunt ever. Uh, a bunch of Whalmers, uh, Nine Tails, Ivysaur, Charmeleon, a lot of them for from Friend Safari, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I'm getting better and better every day. I um, actually found a Shiny by Fossil reset the other day, Kranidos. It had a terrible nature, but... Who cares? I mean, it's still shiny. I named it Shinosaur. See, I'm getting better at puns. Eh, no, I'm not. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, um, where was I before shiny Pokemon? Oh, yeah, Inspirations. Uh, those were a few of my inspirations. I tried be fu being funny, uh, like Smosh. Smosh is awesome. You sh if you haven't seen any of the YouTube channels I've just mentioned, go watch them right now. Get Go do it. Then you can come back and be like, wow, Blue, you were so right. These channels are amazing. And you, you should subscribe to them because they're awesome. And uh, yeah. I think I'm about done here. Mm. Let's just uh, write my channel name. Ta-da! So there you have it. There's Blue. And uh, he's actually going to be my... Uh, mascot from now on uh he's also gonna be on the cover or the he's gonna be my uh little po photo for stuff and dank memes but uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys later peace out oh yeah and a special thanks to uh all my inspirations i don't know if i said that already but uh yeah peace out guys Woo!